also just starting over on. Well, I say just starting. Kelly Fish is just breaking. Is what I meant to say. It's one one. She's playing Max Lechner, so it's also a big match for Max. So made a ball on the break. It was a random ball. And he has a nice open look at this one. Interested to watch how Oliver Shaw Nucky gets on here. I watched loads of him play pool. See what his game's about, where he's at. Was a nice shot just to avoid the green six. Yeah, that's not too bad. Cue ball's a little near the rail, so he's going to have to play this with left hand spin and just float the cue ball down the centre of the table for that pink four. Just lost the cue ball a little bit there. He's going a little bit too close to the seven. That's the slide of the cloth. Made a good pop though. Bumping the six means he's probably going to have to play a bank shot now. It's Mr. Bank. It's going over the top left pocket for Sanchez to come in later in this rack and try and steal it from Sean Nocky. I thought there that Oliver might well enjoy what is quite a common fluke when you hit the jaw of a middle pocket and it shoots down the side rail into a top pocket. But the green six went just a little too wide.
Sanchez Ruiz will return to a happy hunting ground Francisco next month. By one rack to nil. The European Pool Championships will take place in Lasco in Slovenia, and that's where he won on the Euro Tour last year. And it was that victory that really started off what was for him a, a golden spell. Score update from table two. Max Lechner looking to get off the mark in terms of gaining his first win. He finds himself 2 1 up on Kelly Fisher. Yeah, under how big that loss Kelly just had against SVB from 4 1 up. She ended up losing that match 5 4. I wonder how important that may be. Will it come back to haunt her? Only time will tell. Ruiz pops four balls on the break. But he's no shot on the two, so he's ducking for cover. And he hasn't got there, he's left a little edge. Oliver Shaw knocking might come round and have a look at his nine ball. Could play off the edge of the two. And use the cue ball to billiard into the nine to try and pop the nine. You would think he's going to go close. And he might even try and... I was going to say bank the two, but maybe he can't quite see enough of the two to bank it, so... Let's see what he fancies playing. Well, he could. Could see enough of the two to bank it, so... That was a, a nice shot, edged his bets. Two in one, we call that. Where you're playing one shot and you feel like there's two outcomes. He's got a little bit of a problem on this pink four, though. He could cut it all the way up table into the top right pocket. He's overcooked it. Didn't look in all the way. And talking about balls that weren't in, how about the eight ball that Max Lechner has just hung over the pocket? Extension code. Kelly Fisher has the most bread and butter nine ball to draw level at 2-2. Two -two. It's not been Max Lechner's tournament so far. But as we keep saying, there is still time, ample time, to turn things around. Yeah, I mean, missing them balls ain't going to help his cause, of course. So we'll keep you updated on table two. Of course, if you do want to watch that, head over to matchroom.live. Well, that shot broke a lot of technical rules. The main one being that head movement was easily discernible. Can't lift the head. At least now we're getting to see why these guys are at the bottom of the table, Phil. <laughs> Obviously struggling a little bit. It's not easy when you're losing matches and you've not got that confidence. But this is the position they find themselves in. They've got to try and dig the way out of the hole that they're in. Both have one match left today. Sean Mocky finishes off against Naoki Oi. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz plays Max Lechner. Both on table two. Simple nine ball for Oliver to tie the match up. It's one rack apiece. So on both sides of this 
Stadium MK Ballroom. The scoreboards are locked up. 1-1 one, one on table one. 2-2 two, two on table two. Kelly Fisher, though, trying to do something in rack five. Now, the one is cuttable, but it's most certainly not easy. Made it look thus. Any kind of ambitious position on the two. That was far-fetched, but there's other ways to to get around the problem, Carl. Yeah, she's come right around this side of the table. She's eyeing up a 2-9 combo to the bottom right pocket. She won't be far away with this. Extension call. But it's not easy. She's queuing over the pink four. She's got to try and judge how thin she needs to hit the blue two. The only good thing is it doesn't look a million miles off hitting the nine full. Slightly, but he touched it. Yeah. Ball in hand. Now, Marcel Eckhart called a oh. foul shot, saying he just slightly touched the ball. Kelly Fisher didn't see it. And with ball in hand, this 2 9 combination is easy peasy. Tell you what, Marcel Eckhart doesn't miss a trick. If he says it's a foul, it's a foul. Yeah, it's quite unusual that the player won't sort of feel that type of thing where you grade the ball usually you feel it on your cue but Kelly was and she was shocked to hear Marcel say foul but it's cost of the rack she did miss the combo anyway it didn't go in all of it to break in the third Oliver Sean Nocky kind of looks like he shouldn't be good at pool. He's not got that textbook cue action or the stance. Yeah, it's actually quite an asset. He could walk into a pool room anywhere around the world, not look intimidating, and a few hours later walk out with all the money. But he gets the job done. Yeah, that he does. Obviously, he's very consistent. He's served quite an apprenticeship. He was runner-up in the under-16s World 8-Ball Championship in 2013. Six years later, again, reached the final of the youth 9-Ball event. Oh. But those shots tend to age you. Yeah, you could see some body movement there from Oliver. Extension call. Well, well, well. Missed the pot by a long way. Rattled the three and knocked the eight in. That was an unbelievable fluke. Don't think he can get to the potting angle, though. If he can, it's very tight and he might have to play it with a bit of left English. No, he couldn't. Trying to use the nine as a blocker. Tidy shot, that. Very nice shot indeed. Seven 
It's just got that little bit of a scrappy feel about it, this match. Both players are desperate for the W. You kind of feel like whoever wins this match is going to sort of fall over the line now. Another nice shot there from Oliver. There was no attempt at the pot. He was purposely playing it a little bit thick off that side rail to duck behind the nine. On table one, we want the mix, don't we? We want to see the big names excelling, but we also want to see these pivotal contests, the ones that make such a difference. Pretty much all he could do there, I think. Just play a containing safety, bide himself a little bit more time. Is Oliver going to do a similar thing? Is he going to bank this back up? Maybe try and use that pick four. Well, it's gone wrong. He's struggling out there a little bit, is Oliver. So this time he does use that pink four as a blocker. for Francisco Sanchez Ruiz he inadvertently uses the pink four ball as a partial blocker yeah it's playing a big part in this rack that pink four Trying to kick this ball two rails. So maybe pot it in the corner. And he's missed it. And he's Bowling bewildered, hand. isn't he? He's absolutely fuming with himself. Start the clock, please. Well, that really was the cardinal sin. Looks completely mystified with the cushion reaction. Head in hands. I was about to say this is what pool does to you, but especially this format. It's unrelenting, isn't it? Psychologically demanding. Yeah, he's just desperate to win this match. And of course, every player in this event wants to make the top 10. You don't want to bow out at the first, the first hurdle of any pool tournament. And he's obviously just struggling with his cue action, his game at the minute. So that's not helping. Generally speaking, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz isn't struggling. He's prospering. He's having the, the best spell of his entire career. Not seen the best from him here yet. 
but of course it could come forth. Well, it was a strange old rack, one massive misjudgment, and because of that, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz leads Oliver Sholnocki by two racks to one. If, like me, you are fans of Star Wars and the spin-offs, particularly the Mandalorian, you'll know this. This is the way, he says. Well, this is the way in this format. As things build up, matches become more and more important and, in many respects, more and more intense. What we're watching at the moment isn't exactly top of the range pool, but boy, in terms of importance, it is riveting. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, yeah, right. and indeed Oliver Sholnocki, not exactly playing glamour stuff. They need the points. And one here would be invaluable. He's going to need a random ball because it looks like it's going to be a dry break. On table two, it's a recurring theme. Kelly Fisher acquitting herself really well. She's 3-3 now with Max Lechner. put this in the corner obviously the pink ball is in the way he can put it in the right center but you've got to get back on the two so he's not even attempting that is he going to try and roll the cue ball behind the pink four he is yeah good shot in the end on table number two Kelly Fisher has got ball in hand that match is tied at 3-3 three, three. she's still got a full rack to run out but she does have ball in hand yeah later a clever snooker behind the five ball and 
Max Lechner could not escape. Clever safety shot from Sean Nokia has paid off. He's carved out a chance. Just feel he needs to run these balls out. He's missed a couple of balls. He's played a few bad safeties. He's obviously struggling for points. But if he can win this match, if he come back and win this match, he's, he's put himself in an okay position. I told you a moment ago Kelly Fisher had ball in hand. She has three balls remaining. That is to try and get on the hill. Nice long pop there from Kelly on the six. So that's looking okay now. One more good shot. I thought the defeat by Shane Van Boning, more especially the manner of the defeat, might knock Fisher back. Doesn't look that way. She's responded superbly. Max Lechner still looking for that first win, remember? And he could be a sixth consecutive defeat for the Austrian. watching on anxiously there but he's fine there that's okay eight ball to the nine is going to be quite a nice shot to watch eight balls tight on that rail near the top right and pocket so he's going to have to be spinning the cue ball round to get back down for the nine in a couple of shots tight and this type of shot after he's played this seven is a lot easier on a club table because the cloth is a lot older so the the spin or the english that you put on the cue ball bites straight away you can put so much more spin on this shot on these brand new tables the spin doesn't bite straight away extension good causes extension knows it's a big shot Anywhere on the right hand side rail near the middle diamond, halfway up that right hand side rail, would be fine. He would have a cut on this. Yep, told you, Phil. This is the problem on a club table. It's such an easy shot, but on here, it just throws. Great knowledge, Carl. Great call. For Oliver Sholnocki. Not a great feeling, an awful one. And of course, that nine ball was always going to be dispatched. It was across the top cushion. And Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, having looked as though he might be pegged back, now leads 3 1. Over on table two, this is Max. Max Letson is at the table. He played a jump shot on the one ball right at the beginning of this rack. And now this is a good chance to go hill hill. 
Can he win his first point, Phil? Well, he can. The question is, will he? It'd be heartbreaking for Kelly Fisher to lose two Hill Hill battles after being in front in both. The five is a formality. The six seven combo also is. Five. We'll let you know about the Seven outcome of that three. rack in a few three moments. Two, now, though, it's back to table one. Well, Oliver Sholnoki is trying to get off the floor. He's able to cut this two down the rail. Can't quite tell if the eight ball is making a big pocket. Big news over on table number two. That six ball, that's over the pocket. Max Lettner's just missed that. And given Kelly Fisher a glorious chance at another point. Yes, when he played the six, seven combination, the six came away from the pocket just awkwardly enough. Oh, now, though, didn't want the kiss on the eight. Drama on table two. Kelly's faced with a real difficult pot here. She's got three options. Cut it down the rail, play safe. She's playing safe. She needs this to slow down. If it slows down, it's not too bad. The main thing there is that she didn't leave Max a cut. Now, he can play this thin, Extension but cut. these are awful shots. Often you hit these thick. Sometimes you miss them. You've got to be careful. And I think he's got to be happy with the outcome of that. Kelly Fish is now faced with also a nasty little shot. Don't know if she can get the cue ball right behind it to kick it. If she does attempt that, the cue ball might spin out towards the left. And that's what's happened. She couldn't quite get the cue ball in behind. The hand of acknowledgement, though, means that she knows, we know, it could have been a, a whole lot worse. Lechner will be so relieved if this nine ball goes in. He still has work to do. But at least he would be Hill Hill. Again, Kelly Fisher so close to victory as she was against Shane Van Boning. And able to slam the door there. And indeed against Lechner. 4-4. As for table one, things are growing darker by at the moment for Oliver Sholnoki. Found his groove now as Sanchez. That nine ball puts himself on the hill. Yes, at 4-1, it's not been a dominant performance by any means. So, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz is very serious when he's on the table. Off the table, you could not wish to meet a nicer person.
I think I think I have no nervous, but I feel excited because I'm playing good. I feel really confident in my game, so I, I really want to play tomorrow. To be honest, I think no pressure. I feel I feel pressure on, in, in the tournament. I mean, for the tournament, for everything. But I really want to play tomorrow, so I feel, of of course, maybe tomorrow I go to the table. I feel pressure, but now I feel really good. It's like a dream. Always when you win a title, if you win a match or event, it's like a dream. So it's gonna be tough, but I try. And I think I'm ready. So I try my best. If you got a point for extra smiles, Cole, I think we could add one on to Sanchez Ruiz total right now. Yeah, he might well be top of the table for happy fellas. You've known him for many years, Cole. Has he always been this kind of sunny character, good disposition? Yeah, without a doubt, mate. He's a nice guy away from the table. Works very hard at his game. Looks like he's sporting a new tattoo on his arm as well. Maybe we'll get a close up of that. See what he's had done on his arm there. Looks like a face. Not sure if he's got any children. Maybe it's something to do with that. Well, it might be the, the Derby City Classic logo after what he did there at the nine ball. Might well be a picture of you, Phil. No, no. There's not room on one arm. When you get to the hill, all you want, top of the wish list, is a good break. Yeah, and Sanchez does have a good break. He's one of the more powerful breakers on tour. Doesn't hold back. Most of the players can break the ball pretty hard, but a lot of them take a little bit of pace off on the break. But Sanchez goes full blood. On table two, that match is obviously hill hill. Max is at the table. And he has a chance to win his first point. Well, Sanchez can get through the gap here to pop the one. What a result that is. Yesterday began so well for Oliver Shonnocki. In back-to-back -back matches on table two, he defeated Omar Al Shaheen and Max Lechner, 5-1 and 5-3 respectively. Since then, though, things have gone south. Just these three balls remaining for the match. Oh, my word. Obviously, nothing's happened on table one, but me and Phil have got the pleasure of seeing both screens. Max Lechner has just missed an unforgivable six ball at Hill Hill versus Kelly Fisher. We'll bring you that shot in a moment. We could be having almost simultaneous conclusions here. Both on the nine ball. Francisco Sanchez. Francisco